Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. It's the Lord has given us to enjoy and my birds. Of, and you know, they're somewhere else. I don't know where, but they're not here. The seeds is down there. They're not trying to eat them. I don't know where they are, but they come in and out, you know. Sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. So, they're not here right now. So, I'm over here where the sun's not so bright. It's, the sun's kind of up today, uh, this morning. In the summer, the sun comes up real fast. Like, right here where I do my videos. And out there... In the right out there it's real real bright and it's I don't think it does real good like that it might I don't know I'm just trying to figure out where the best place to get to do my videos uh, sometimes you just don't know where to be here or there but I'll try it both places so anyway uh this is everyone having an awesome day? I'm having my coffee this morning in my cup that someone gave me, so I got a top on it. I think I I got a top on it where nothing can't get in my cup. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> the birds are like flying all over. And what when, when I let me have a sip of coffee. When I'm out here, they go somewhere else. When I go in the house, they all over the place. They on my table, they on my camera, they on up here at my front door looking in the door. My my birds go up to the door looking inside. But if I'm out here, I don't know. They just get somewhere in the tree and look down here and probably laughing at me or something. But anyway, they're happy, and I'm happy. I hope everyone's happy. Just be blessed that we're here, and we can enjoy all of God's nature where it's hide. Oh, there's a little bird sitting there. And there might be some over there, but the sun's so bright right here. Uh, I'm just going to be right here for right now. <laughs> I may move out there. But anyway, I'm out here this morning. I'm going to make something. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, have y'all ever just, just been undecided? You have a lot of things to make, but you don't know exactly which one you want to make right now. That's how I am right now. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what what to make that I would like and y'all would like. And wouldn't take too awful long. I don't I don't like to wait like days and days and days. I like to do something and get done with it <laughs> pretty fast. But sometimes you have to wait two or three or four days. But I don't like to wait no long, long time. I like to get get done with what I'm doing. And so, let me see. What can I do? I think today I'm going to make a hypatupa pot. I haven't made one of them in a while. And that is has cement in it. It has Georgia sand in it. It has peat moss in it. And it has perlite in it. And you mix it all up. And you mold it in a mold. And you let it dry. And it's really... 
a lot lighter than real regular cement. It's if you put a lot of cement, it's heavy. It's it's kind of heavy. But this half a tufa pot is lighter because it's got peat balls, which is not heavy. Perlite is little stare for me looking little balls that you put in flower pots to for them to have air you know and uh, grow good but you put those little things in it and which makes it lighter and and it's a lighter weight uh, pot and it's beautiful it has a lot of old looking uh, a look to it like I like I like an old I don't like a brand new looking pot. I like a old looking pot. Guess why? <laughs> when you get old, you appreciate old looking things. <laughs> so, I think that's what I'm going to do today is, is get out here and make a hypotufa flower pot. And see how y'all like that. <laughs> you know... I've got so many thoughts in my mind of what how, things to do. I can't pick one out. I, I, it's just, but maybe I'll last long enough that I can make them all that I think of to do. <laughs> so, I, I, I want to thank y'all so much for subscribing and sharing and, uh, my videos and clicking the bell so you can get notified when I make another one. I want y'all to, I want to thank y'all all for all that. And, and thank y'all so much for blessing me with your comments and your cares that you care. And I'm so blessed and so thankful for all my viewers. It's just it's awesome to have all that. I never dreamed I could have that. <laughs> you know, just two, like two and a half years ago, I wasn't uh, making videos. I was, I was videoing my birds and stuff, but I wasn't talking. I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't doing this. I was just, this is just something that the Lord has blessed me with in the last, uh, I, I would say two and a half years, I guess, is about how long it's been since I started doing this. And, and I, I love it. I love what I'm doing, and I love my life, and I love how things are working out for me now. Because I, I had some, <laughs> some little rough periods there that... Uh, it wasn't looking too great for me. Uh, in so, some of my older videos, I explained some of that stuff. So if y'all want to go back and look for them, y'all uh, y'all can uh, go back and look. One of them was Burdens on My Heart uh, that, that I tell about what, how, what happened in my life a little bit that... Uh, but it's so wonderful now. I, 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 I'm just so blessed and thankful that, that I have what I have, and I have y'all, and a, my is my YouTube family, and a lot of people tell me I'm their grandmother now. <laughs> so I got a lot of grandchildren all over the world, <laughs> and a lot of caring people all over the world that I have got, got in contact with. It. Uh, that is nothing that ever crossed my mind in my life that I would ever, ever even be. I don't even know where some of these places are that send me messages. If they so far away, so across the ocean and the, or islands and all kind of places. But I'm blessed. Paris and all just people send me messages that they like my videos. How awesome is that? It's just unbelievable to me that I could 
be doing all this and having all this much fun when you get old. I waited till I got old, and, but the time was right. The Lord blessed me with this. He he knew I had, I think a bird about flew on me. <laughs> I thought I saw one going somewhere over there. But anyway, thank y'all so much for, for blessing this me blessing me so much and they're all over there up there on the wire there they might be back there but you can't even see back there now but i'm gonna may move out there but anyway i'm gonna get around here and mix up my cement and get started on my project and we're gonna see how that turns out thank y'all so much and i'll be back shortly don't go away <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Let me have another sip of coffee. Are y'all having coffee with me? I forgot to ask y'all. Y'all, I am so absent-minded. I get to talking and I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing or saying. But that's life and that's that goes along with getting old, I guess. <laughs> it's just things just go by. You don't even hardly know it. But anyway, I love it. I love it. Okay. Let me get started. I'm going to turn my camera off. And eight cups of Portland cement. Four cups of sand, two, four, six, eight, eight cups of peat moss, eight cups of perlite, Two, four, six, eight. This cup holds two. This little cup holds two cups, so that's eight. So I've got everything in it. I'm gonna stir it up some. don't want it too uh, wet. You want it moist and not runny at all. This mixture is not real heavy like solid cement and sand. It's lighter. And it has a it has a lot of texture in it. Like not smooth, you know. Uh just kind of coarse and old looking and of course, you know. I like old looking stuff. Okay, y'all. This is my hypotupa mix. And you can tell when it gets ready is when you can ball it up in a ball and it will stay a ball like when you pack it together and that's what that's what it's doing 
so that's that's how it is. You can, I mean, that's 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 high for tupa. Okay. Okay, I'm going. This is a tub that I have that I'm going to use. I need to bring it up here closer where y'all can see in it. Okay. You just start putting your mixture in. it around and you pack it. That's a very important. You have to pack. Pack this stuff down good and tight. Okay. Okay, y'all, I've got some shells that I'm going to put in here. I don't know why my camera keeps cutting off, but it does. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going, I think that's all I can do to it, but right now I'm just going to let it dry, see how it turns out. Okay, y'all, woo, I'm give out. Uh, that's all I'm going to do to it right now. I'm going to let it dry and see how it looks when I when it dries. We'll come back in a few days and, and look at it, see what happened. See y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this beautiful, beautiful morning, enjoying the sunshine and the flowers and the birds and all of God's creations that he's given us to enjoy. I'm going to come out and enjoy them while I can. And I'm having my coffee. I hope y'all having coffee with me this morning. And I've got my cover on it so nothing won't fall in my coffee. <laughs> that I don't want in there <laughs> and I don't want anything in there I just like black coffee nothing no cream or sugar or anything like that I just like it like that and that's the way I drink it in case y'all care <laughs> oh well uh where are my birds oh I think they hide from me when I come out here. Oh, I see one back there. They're, they're a little nest all around here. My neighbor up there, she's got some little red birds in a nest. And I see them going in and out of the houses, and I see the little birds going in and feeding their babies. And uh, it's, it's, They're real busy right now. They, they uh... They haven't got time to <laughs> come down and eat much uh, for themselves. They, they, they do that all different times of the day. Sometimes they want any bird come uh, and eat much. Then look like they all want to come at the same time and get up there and fight and fight all up in the air and all down here and everywhere. But that's all right. That's their nature, and that's what they do, and that's okay with me as long as they don't kill each other. <laughs> I don't want them to kill each other. Let me have a sip of coffee. It is so hot, I may burn my mouth. Yo, yesterday, I was in the house, and I... I was sitting on the couch, and I can I have a glass door. It's just solid glass, and, and you can see out, you know, everything out here. And I saw this mockingbird. He came, he got in one of the bird baths, and he just took a bath, a good, good bath. Then he got out, and they usually fly on off. They, they don't usually hang around after they take a bath. They just, but this one got out of one uh, bird bath. He goes over there and jumps in another bird bath. And he flutters and flips and does his bathing and uh, scraping his bill back and forth on the side. And then he gets out of that one. Then he flies. I have three out there. <laughs> I have three pretty close together. And this one just jumped out of one into another, into another. And then out of, when he got to the last one, he jumped back in the other one that he'd done been in. And then he jumped up there on something and shook a while. And then he jumped back in the water. 
I said, my goodness, I, I, I had already got my camera out because I thought he was doing some strange looking stuff and I wanted to video him doing that. But I videoed him in that water splashing and taking a bath and it was so cute. I, I, I'm, if this video is not too long, I'll try to let y'all see it in this video, but it doesn't have any sound because I wasn't outside, but uh, I was inside when I videoed him out there in the bird bath, but it's never, never a dull moment out here. You always, there's always something going on that keeps you excited and looking around for whatever.
just enjoy if you enjoy that kind of some people do not enjoy this kind of stuff at all but i'm not one of them i enjoy every minute of every day that i spend out here yeah there's two red birds back there now but anyway what i'm uh i hope the lord has been good to you while since we haven't seen each other in a few days I, I know he has. I know he has been good because he's been good to me. And he's good to other people. But some of them don't recognize that he is. And sometimes we go through struggles and stripes and stuff. But you just keep on holding on and keep on uh, believing that it, it's going to turn out better. And, it, and most of the time, I think it will. I know it worked on me, and I believe it would work on anybody that believes and trusts the Lord to help them through each day and whatever trials they're going through. So, thank the Lord and bless you because we all need blessings and we need to bless each other and all that. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing out here. <laughs> I don't think I've even told you. You know, the other day, uh, two or three days ago, I think, uh, I made a hypatupa flower pot. First time I'd made one in pretty good while. I mean, I don't. I think it's been a year or more since I made a hypatupa pot, and that is a hypatupa in case you don't know you might be new or something and you don't know what hypatupa is it's it's portland cement peat moss perlite and georgia sand it's all you you put it together and you stir it up and the the peat moss is light it's not heavy at all and the perlite is like styrofoam little balls that you put in something that in flower pots soil to keep them kind of loosened up and uh, not let them get so tight down with dirt it keeps them from getting so packed but anyway this mixture is called hyphatufa and when you when you write it <laughs> on youtube it puts a red line up under because it it don't recognize that word, <laughs> but it's it's right because I I looked it up, but when I write it on YouTube, it puts a red line under it. So you just have to I I think when it's got a red line under it, it's it's wrong. But Cody said it's just not recognizing that word. So I guess I guess that's right. I don't know, but anyway. I'm going to go around here now and get my hypatupa pot out and see what, I see a big old uh, bird up there in that tree. They just flying all around, they not here, but they're all around. They wish I'd go in the house and leave them alone so they could eat like they want to. But uh, I'm going to go around here now and get my pot that I worked on and I put it around there and let it dry. I'm going to go get it and bring it around here now and let y'all see uh, how it turned out. We're going to take it out of the mold and see what, what it, how it looks and it may fall apart. You, just, you never know what's going to happen to your things that you take out that you don't, you don't know if they're going to be okay or if they're not going to be okay. But you just hope they are and, and hope you can fix it if they're not. Let me have another sip of coffee. And I'm, birds just, big old birds flying everywhere. And it's a hawk, I think. I know not a hawk. Uh, I don't know what you call them things. Okay, I'm going to go around right here now and get my pot. Move that. Be right back. I, I thought of, I thought of what that, what that is. It, it's crows. 
and there used to be a cartoon a long time ago about Heckle and Jekyll. They were crows. <laughs> Black crows. They some around here. Okay. this. My son's getting on this side over here. Okay, let me. I don't know if I can. I guess I'll turn it upside down. Try to get it out. Hope it don't fall apart. Ooh, it did. It's, well, I don't know if it's going to fall apart, but it came out. And this was the bucket that it was in. Wish it would stay a little I wish it would, the sun would get halfway on it and halfway off of it. But it comes up so fast in the morning. Oh, that looks good. I need to go get something and make a hole in it for a drainage. I didn't do that earlier. carve out my camera cut off and uh, if you wait too long you can't do this because it, it will get hard as a brick it's not hard as a brick right now but it will get hard And this is just stuff you put in there to make it look old. And, uh, I assure you this stuff will be uh, hard. I have made these before, but I, I just don't know. I haven't thought about making any. Uh, Kind of forget about you know stuff you was doing and try not to get in the whole way. just like to try things, you know, different things. And this is uh, some bark that's been on a tree for I don't know how long. It's like petrified on there.
put shells in it. And I think it's beautiful. This is the beauty of doing things. You can sort of experiment and do do some things that you want to try. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But you don't know if it's going to work unless you try it. Let me get another sip of coffee and let me see. No dirt had not got in it. And put it up here because there's so much stuff flying around it. No room for it either. Y'all know, I guess y'all, y'all may not remember, but, uh, I like old, old looking things, you know, just because something is old doesn't mean it's, it doesn't have its beauty to me. <laughs> uh, everything, I think if you look for beauty, you could maybe find some in some every in a lot of things. Even Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> it's so pretty. And, and another thing, you won't find another one like it in the world. This is the only pot like this in the world. It might be made out of hypotuca, but it won't be like this one, and it won't look like this one. You can't hardly make two just alike for, for, for your life. You can't. Um, it just... It's just one of a kind, you know. It's, it's got its own uh, look, and you made it. And that's why it's the beauty of it is that you made it, and it's your creation. And <laughs> and I'm proud of it because it's beautiful. This little white stuff you see on here is perlite showing through and it makes it look extra old. Okay, I think I'm going to let it finish drying a little in the sun. And don't y'all think this is beautiful? Let me carve a little of this off.
is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. You just put what you find in the woods in here. Getting in the sun. I'm going to stop now. That's as much as I'm going to take off. And it's, it's awesome. Just shells and... Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if I explained to y'all what fat lighter is. That's what's in this... Uh, some of this stuff is in here. It's, it's like... Comes off of a pine tree... Uh, when it dies, it gets down at the bottom. It gets like uh, tar soap down in the uh, wood. And it's what people a long time ago used to start a fire with. They would put this fat lighter, light it with a, a lighter, and it would just flame up. Let me, let me get a piece of it and show y'all how it lights, how it burns. I moved my camera a little bit because that sun is almost over here. Okay, I got this piece right here. And I'm going to light it and show you how it lights. It's just, a, well, it's a little fat piece of wood. And it will... See how that's burning. This will make a fire good and hot really, really fast. Oh, can y'all see it? This is, this is fat lighter. I was telling a friend of mine about this the other day. She'd never heard of it. <laughs> but that's what people used to uh, would light a fire with in the winter and start the wood because regular wood won't burn this good. But this has got, I, I don't know if you can see it, the tar that's coming out of it. See the tar right? Whew, I burn myself. <laughs> See that tar that's coming out of it? And this, you can smell this stuff. And this is something that will not rot. Let me see if I can blow it out. <laughs> yeah, I blew it out. Okay. Oh, and it smells good. It smells like tar. Okay. I was just showing you <laughs> about fat lighter, about old timey stuff a long time ago that people used to use to start a fire. If that if that was just regular wood, you would stand here a long time trying to start it and you couldn't hardly get it to burn. 
But that stuff, well, it's got tar in it, and that tar will burn easy. And so, I just letting y'all see that. I know y'all wasn't crazy about looking at a tar piece of wood being burned, but I was just telling y'all something that we used to do long, or I didn't do it. Uh, my daddy and them, well, I do, I have done it at my house here. I have a fireplace here, and I have used it here, but you can't find it all the time. You find it down in the woods. I'll show you some pieces of it. Okay, this, this is a piece of it. It's heavy. It's very heavy. It's full of uh, that uh, tar. And if you chop some off, it's, it's like this stuff. It's like this stuff inside. It's, and it won't rot. I've had this for 40 years, I know. Um, yeah, I know I've had it 40, 45 years. And it's still, it's not rotten. It's still just as firm as it ever was. Uh, that's what they used to build houses out of a long time ago. And they wouldn't rot, but they'll burn up fast <laughs> if they catch on fire. So this is what a piece of fat lighter is. You can hit somebody with that, and you can put them out of the, put them away from here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop talking now. And let this finish drying, and then I'll come back and uh, see how it looks, and see if I'm gonna do anything else to it. I I may not do anything else to it. Uh, it doesn't need anything else. But that is so awesome. That's a piece of fat lighter right there kind of curved around that's what it is so I'll be back when this dries some and I'll let y'all see what else I'm going what I'm going if I'm going to do anything else to it if it looks okay or what I, I just haven't decided yet what exactly that I want to do more to it than I've done so y'all Y'all subscribe and share and click the bell and thumbs up. And what a blessing y'all are to me to have viewers like I have. Uh, they are such a blessing to me. I read the comments and I'm just so overwhelmed with the response and the kindness that y'all have shown me. I just, it's, it's beyond what I could imagine but I love it and I'm so thankful for it and I know the Lord has led me down this path uh, people say that I help them feel more comfortable and calm and uh, that is I don't think I I mean I don't see how I can do that but that's what people tell me, and I'm so thankful that I, if I have done that for someone, I'm so blessed and so thankful that I have been able to do it for people. And let me get out of here now and quit talking, and I'm going to let this dry some more, and I'll be back. See you in a little bit. <laughs> Whenever it gets dry, I don't know when that's going to be. All right, bye-bye. Okay, y'all. The sun's way up, and just a minute. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I let it dry a, a while. It's not completely dry all the way through because it takes uh, a little while for this kind of stuff to dry, but it's dry enough that you can carve it and you can uh, do some things with it while it's not so hard. And so I'm just going to uh, 
I'm just going to show y'all uh, how it looks and not wait two weeks or whatever for it to completely dry. It's dry, but it, and you can move it and all, but it's, it's just not solid as it will be in uh, a little uh, a while longer. So, uh, I'm just going to let y'all see it. I'm going to let y'all see the inside of it. And let me get my camera over here. There's the little there it's got a hole in it anyway I put a hole in it and there's the sides of it and and this is the outside of it it is absolutely beautiful Okay, I'm going to set my camera back down. This is my finished project that I finished. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has uh, shells on it. And it has uh, bark. And it has fat lightered on it. And it's just beautiful. And there's not another one in the world like it. So, <laughs> this is the only one they are like this. You make one and it'll be one of a kind if you make one. So, I, I just decided, oh, let me get my coffee. I've decided to, uh, I, I don't know if y'all seen the video of where my cane didn't work out right. It didn't come up. It was it was messed up. It 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 got messed up while it was bedding. It, it was under the ground and covered up with straw and stuff. And I I dug it up to get to replant it for the spring. And when I dug it up, it wasn't. It was just a hull of a cane. It wasn't cane the cane like it's supposed to be. So, my friend from New York, Lisa Bruce, I, I told this in another video, but I'm telling it again because this is another video, and someone might see this video that didn't see that video, so I'm, I'm going to tell it again, <laughs> if y'all don't mind. So, anyway, I was, I, I went around there, and I do, if y'all want to look at the other videos that they're, they're back, but just before, uh, two before this one, I think. And I went around there and was going to plant it, and it wasn't there. So I, I was just disappointed, really, but I tried not to act like, you know, I wasn't that, I was disappointed, but I could live with it because there wasn't anything I could do about it. So I come back around here and I said well you know everything doesn't work out everything you do does not work out right so you just have to deal with what what you have and what you can do and that's it that's all so I think it was that the same day or the next day I, I it might have been the same day I don't know it was probably the next day after I, I videoed uh, put my video on I she's she called me and from New York and she said Helen I seen your video I said you did she said yes I did uh, and I saw you were disappointed about your cane and I said well you know she said you tried not to show it but I could tell that you were very disappointed about your cane that you were going to plant and have for this coming year. I said, yes, but uh, she said, well, you're going to get some cane. I said, what? She said, 
you're gonna get some cane to plant. I said, are you kidding me? Cane? She said, yes. I said, how in the world did you? She said, it's gonna be, I'm go I've, I've called Amazon and I've, I've made arrangements for it to be shipped to the post office in your town and you can get it and plant it. I said, my goodness, I was just all up in the air. I was just so excited because I said, well, how in the world, how did you find it? She, it came out of Florida. Uh, it's a uh, sugar cane. I don't know how she done that. I didn't even know they sold it on the, uh, like that. But anyway, uh, I waited on it and I waited on it and I waited on it. And she called me and asked me, did I get it? And I, I told her, no, I haven't gotten it yet. So Cody was helping me get some of the stuff on the post office. So he would put it over there on the table where I put everything that comes in till I get it, till I open it. So she said, well, the post office, I'm going to call the post office. I'm going to call and see what happened to it. So here she goes calling and finding out what happened. She called me back. She said, you, you have, y'all, it has been picked up. I said, it has. <laughs> I said, well, I haven't seen it. She said, well, they said it has been picked up. Have you got some stuff over there that you haven't opened? I said, yes, I have. I, I've got some stuff over there that, that I'm waiting, you know, to get several things that I can open at the same time. I don't want to open them one at a time. I, I want to open them all at the same time. So she said, well, go over there to the table where you have that stuff and look. I said, there's no cane over there. <laughs> I said, I was looking for cane like in a long package like this long, like a stalk of cane. Like my cane was, <laughs> I y'all can't see, but it's long. It's uh, four or five foot long. I said, there, there's no cane over there. So she said, well, go over there and see if there's a package. And I come back and I told, yes, there's a, there's a small package over there. I said, I said, this is not it. She said, well, why don't you open it? I said, okay, I will. <laughs> I said, but I know this is not it. So we hang up and I tell her I'm going to call her back whenever I get it, when I find out where I find it. Well, I went over there and opened this little envelope like this, this wide, and this, this wide, a small envelope. And I failed of it, and it was just a little thing inside of that envelope. And I said, I know this is not it. So I went ahead and opened it. In that envelope was six six <laughs> little joints of cane about like this that she got from Florida. Somebody in Florida had it, and they sent it to me. I just would have never guessed that cane was in that little bitty I'll show y'all the little uh, little cane and the little envelope and everything. I think I might have showed it in another video. I don't know. But anyway, it don't matter. If you look at it, just go past it because it ain't very long. Uh, so I said, I said, my goodness, this is the cane. Here it is. I could, ha I could hold it in my hand. I said, but you know, all it takes is a little joint, like a little thing with a little sprout thing that comes out on it and it had little roots on it so I get on the phone call her back and tell her I found it <laughs> she said oh I'm so glad I am so glad 
So I told her I was going to plant it. So she was so glad that, that I had the cane. Didn't even know I had the cane. It could have got messed up or something. But anyway, it didn't. So I, I got it together and I went around there and I planted it. I videoed. I took my video camera. I took my video camera around there and I planted this new cane which my cane that I have is red cane. This this cane is green, it's not uh, red. So I'll be able to tell the difference in my cane and this cane. So I planted it and I'm gonna let y'all see how I planted it. And <laughs> that's the end of the story, I guess, <laughs> about the cane. I know y'all tired of hearing about cane because people, nowadays, people don't plant stuff like that. But a long time ago, people planted cane. And, and my daddy always had a cane patch. And I, I had to have one myself. And when I was little, he would be out there doing his cane. And I wanted me one of my own. I wanted a cane patch myself. Well, I get the hoe, and I'm hoeing all around out there trying to dig up a place for my cane. My daddy said, you're going to cut your foot if you keep on chopping that hoe like that. I said, I'll be all right. I, I, I want to make a cane patch like yours. So here I go, chopping, chopping, chopping. Guess what? I chopped my foot right across there you can't see it but it's right there <laughs> and the scar is still there and i'm 81 years old and i was probably five years old then the scar is still on my foot so but i got a cane patch and i got a cane patch now thank the lord <laughs> and i'm so proud of it and with the help of lisa bruce and people that uh, inspire me every day every day I am inspired by so many people that care and uh, write me I wished I could answer every single one I wished I could I try to read every one but it takes me like when I'm reading uh, comments and uh, well I'm reading these cards off of these uh, fan mail I'm not fast at that. I'm slow and I want to get it right and I want to say the right things and, and I'm just takes me too long. I don't get what I need to get done other than that. I, I, I'm just, but I love doing this so I'm going to do pretty much a lot of this and <laughs> a less of that. <laughs> okay, y'all, I know y'all tired of hearing me. Uh, rattle on and on and on, but uh, maybe this will be the last cane part of it. Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm out here in my backyard about to plant some cane that my sweet, sweet friend Lisa Bruce sent me. She got online and found some sugar cane uh, because mine wasn't it was about destroyed by something. I don't know if it was or what it was, but when I went to dig it up, I had a lot of cane, like several, six or 10 or 12 stalks. I put them right over there, and somehow something got in them and eat the whole bottom part out of every piece of cane. They was like a little small pieces, like that was still usable. The knot is all that you need for to plant cane because you it doesn't have seeds. You have to have a piece of cane. So my sweet friend Lisa, she felt so sorry for me <laughs> that my cane didn't do right. She got on line and found, I needed something to put it in. She found this sugar cane. Can't even see it. 
<laughs> it was in this it was in an envelope I was expecting a bigger bag than this but this is all it takes is is this to uh, make cane and for it to grow Okay, I'm going to let y'all see it up close. There's six pieces. And I'm going to let you see it up close. It, it came out of Florida. Someone grows sugar cane in Florida. And she <laughs> was smart enough to get on and find some for me. Because mine was destroyed. And I want to show you the little uh, the little roots things that if I can see the little the little root things right there that's coming out on it. So hopefully I'm gonna have some cane of some kind. <laughs> I don't. This looks like green cane. I'm not sure. Mine was red, but it doesn't matter. It's cane. Uh, I see the little pieces of, of roots that's coming out. So I'm about to get out here now and put it in the ground and wait on it to grow. Uh, I'm going to lay it right here till I get my, this little part right here is where the other is. That little piece right there <laughs> is mine. It came up from the old, old uh, cane that I had, I cut last year. It was still in the ground and Whatever got my other cane didn't get that cane, so I'm thankful for that. I'm going to get over here now and put this other in the ground. Let's see how it turns out. Y'all may not know about, oh, <laughs> uh, I have a old bathtub right there that uh, I put my coffee grounds and, and my potato peelings and all that stuff in it. It's mulch. Uh, stuff that I keep to fertilize my gardens and my flowers with and I'm putting a little bit of that in there you don't want to put it in there solid but you want it in there stirred up Okay, where's my cane? Oh, over here. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna put one piece in this hole. Hole. One piece in this hole. the sweetest thing that lady saw that I was disappointed in my cane and went and found some for me. I just don't know how to, I just, I'm so blessed beyond my dreams by the caringest, kindest people. Okay, I'm gonna put two more. Cody doesn't like. <laughs> I thought my camera was off. Cody doesn't like this because he doesn't like the way it smells. But it doesn't bother me as long as it does the job. It's in the backyard. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Two more. water. I didn't know this butterfly was going to like my pan over here. watering some other things that I have here. Okay, I've got my cane planted over there. It was so bright the uh, camera was, it was too dark because it's so much light over there. But I showed y'all, I hope, 
I hope y'all could see it because I couldn't tell because the sun was in my face and I was just trying to get it planted so I could let y'all see how to do that. Uh, I'm going to go in the house and rest again. I'm, yesterday I worked in my woods. Today I'm out here planting cane, but I'm thankful to have it to plant. So we'll watch it grow together. Thank y'all so, so much for watching my videos, subscribing and sharing, and be a blessing to someone like Lisa. Uh, Bruce is a blessing to me and a lot of other people that send me things and that care about me. I'm so blessed and thankful for all of y'all. I wished I could answer every single one, but I don't get anything done now. If I do, I need a secretary. <laughs> I need somebody to help me with all this stuff I do. Uh, really, I, I, I don't need anybody. I, I like to do it by myself and I enjoy it and whatever, you know, if, if it don't get done, it don't get done. I'm going to see about my outside stuff and worry about the inside later. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless y'all. Bye-bye.